Hi, I'm John Schultz with AT&T Sustainability Group. We're here in New York City at Manhattan Center for TechCrunch 2013. We're standing in line with hundreds of coders who are about to go inside and build an app that will hopefully save billions of gallons of water. Let's go see what they're up to. So you might be wondering why AT&T, Environmental Defense Fund, and TechCrunch are being used in the same sentence. Well, we want to use the skills, expertise, and innovation of the hundreds of coders that are going to be in this room to build an application that's a lot better than the one we had before. So the challenge here today is to have the developers build a water estimation tool for building managers. And what we really would love for the developers to do is not only build the application, but then roll in our AT&T APIs, or application programming interfaces. At this specific hackathon, it's a 24-hour challenge. They go all night. At the end of the 24 hours, the developers pitch what they've worked on for the last 24. So when it's all over, TechCrunch is going to get up on the stage over there and award two awards for our water challenge. The first one's going to be for creativity. The second one's going to be for the one that functions the best. And the idea here will be that we'll be able to share that app with lots of different facilities, lots of different companies, so that they can learn how to save water too. I think this is exactly what we want to do. It's we brought in uh, sort of a basic concept, an idea of a set of tools that could be used, and they are already kind of just synapses are firing, uh, figuring out how to how to bring all this different technology in. And I think we're going to get a great product, and I think the magic is going to going to happen in the next 24 hours. Environmental Defense Fund is really excited about this hackathon. It's an opportunity to use technology and expertise of the coders to tackle major environmental problems that we're facing today, like water stress. So at the end of this weekend, we're hoping to have an app that's going to not only help AT&T reduce their water use, but help other companies do the same thing. That's good for the environment. It's also good for the companies because they're going to be able to save money. Second place goes to Team Waterlog, and first place $5,000 goes to Team WaterMap.